The Sonosight AxoTrack equipped transducer has a unique design that allows it to be held securely, facilitating accurate needle guidance. Once assembled with the transducer shield, the transducer can be held in either hand. For optimal stability during use, make an L with the thumb and forefinger and place it up against the vertical post. Grip the transducer with the middle finger in front of the finger guide. This leaves the thumb and forefinger free to act as stabilizers on the patient. If needed, adjust the grip to make sure the thumb can reach the needle clamp to secure the needle when desired. Insert the needle by placing the magnet against the magnet rail to stabilize the needle assembly. Align the needle tip with the needle guide orifice and advance the needle into the guide. As a final check before use, the practitioner passes the needle through the needle guide and observes when the needle tip starts to protrude from the bottom of the transducer shield. At this point, the image of the virtual needle should be seen just entering the very top of the ultrasound field. This step confirms calibration is correct. Once the anatomic target is located and aligned with the target line, the practitioner places the prepared needle in the needle guide. The needle clamp must be in the open position or the needle guide will be occluded preventing the needle's passage into the guide. The needle can then be advanced in a controlled, deliberate manner to the target. Note, do not apply pressure to the needle clamp during advancement of the needle through tissue because excessive force will be required to advance the needle. The magnet should be kept against the magnet rail at all times. If the magnet is bent away from the magnet rail, the virtual needle will disappear completely, indicating the procedure should be terminated. After penetrating the skin with a needle, the practitioner should not attempt to reposition the needle or target line without withdrawing the needle to the skin surface. Once this is done, it will be safe to realign the target line and advance the needle to the intended target. Correct needle location must be confirmed by the appropriate clinical indicators, such as blood return in the syringe. When the needle is in the appropriate position, the practitioner can actuate the needle clamp with the thumb to hold the needle in place. Holding gentle pressure with the thumb facilitates guide wire feeding or aspiration. When using the Sonosite AxoTrack equipped transducer, it is important to understand the relationship between the orientation of the transducer, the scan plane, and the trajectory of the needle. Note that the trajectory of the needle is fixed relative to the transducer. In contrast to conventional freehand guidance, the needle trajectory in the AxoTrack system always lies within the scan plane and corresponds to the direction that the transducer is aimed. The transducer does not have to be oriented perpendicular to the body. It can be tipped or angled to find the appropriate window for safe needle penetration, providing tremendous flexibility when performing a variety of needle-guided procedures. Orienting the transducer perpendicular to the body surface may result in a sharp bend of the guide wire at the needle exit point. This could make it difficult to feed the guide wire. To facilitate guide wire passage, it is desirable to impinge the target vessel at an angle 30 to 45 degrees off perpendicular. This requires tipping or leaning the transducer on the body surface to provide the desired angle of approach to the target vessel. Placing the transducer at the desired angle is easily done when approaching either the internal jugular or subclavian vein. For more information, please visit sonosite.com slash axotrack.